Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Alien Hominid Invasion. It is one of the most chaotic roguelikes I have played in a very long time. This is my third attempt at actually recording a video because I usually make it like two levels in and I get absolutely crushed. It is a uh, four-player local uh, and online co-op, so if you want to bring your friends, you are more than welcome to. Uh, let's see, what weapon do I want to bring? I have a lot. What is a photon gun? I'm going to just try that. I've been unlocking some things. Uh, currently, I've switched it, so I've got... I don't have permadeath off. Uh, let's see, where are we going? Ooh. That's it. I think I want to go up twice, to then to the right, and then up and over. It might make the game a little harder, but hopefully also gets me more loot. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, so I was going to say, it's a, a chaotic kind of... I, I'd say it's a beat-em-up, but it it's kind of a side scrolly shooter. Ooh, that's kind of fun. And hazard spinners. Okay. I... It's gonna be a bit of a trial for me to describe this game, if only because there's so much stuff going on all the time. Uh, tons of enemies, tons of objectives, a lot of stun locking and some other such things. And so it's going to be very easy for me to get, like, wi wildly off track. But it is made by Behemoth, the people who made Castle Crashers, which is probably why it's got this art style. Oh, this guy's... There we go. Oh, I took his armor off. Good. Holy smokes, that guy is tough. We need to get out of here, though. The longer I wait, the harder it gets. Uh, there's a little meter at the bottom that scales difficulty, so the faster you complete things, the genuinely easier the game's going to be. Uh, and so what we're doing is effectively just running around here, completing side objectives until we leave, but there's always a bonus objective afterwards. Uh... That can kind of be anything. Okay, survive the orbital bomb, bomb the bombardment. Ow! I guess that didn't actually hurt too much. Oh, that's interesting. That didn't actually hurt me that much. I guess the answer was, "Don't be on the ground, forehead, and nobody can stop you." Okay, looks like it's news, papers, spying. I don't entirely know what this event is. We're just grabbing paper and then del just delivering them to the mothership. Okay, come back down, drop the papers off, and then just delete the man. There we go. I wish there was a duck. But then uh, then again, uh, I'm having an easier time. Like I said, I, I've, I've been having... Okay, sweeper bot attack. Uh, I've been having some trouble actually recording a video on this one because, oh boy, it is, um, it is unironically, like, absolute chaos. Wow, rude. Like I said, lots of stun locks. I was hoping to kill one of them, but I can't. This game doesn't do, uh, mouse controls, to my knowledge. And so, my aiming has to be purely through a controller. There we go. Do I have enough news? No. Or news, papers, whatever you want to call them. Okay, avoid that. Grab the man. Faithful steed. There we go. And he's gone. I like the photon cannon. It... That alien's face. Uh, I certainly like the photon cannon. It is one of the uh, more interesting guns I've seen so far. All right, we good? No. Wait, hold up. Oh, blessed be. Okay, you're a purple enemy. Unfortunately, how do I... Oh. He's gone. No, he's not. How do I even kill those guys? I don't know. The dudes with the shields worry me. Ah, shoot. Okay, 
And I kind of have to kill them. I don't think I have a choice. Okay. Nope, he's dead, finally. Thank you. Unfortunately, I think I lost my, my mount. But it's fine. We just uh, lost one of our precious hearts for doing this. Well, at least we can get precious money. Ow. I just want to go places and they just start slugging me and it's really rude. <laughs> I almost wonder if this is one of those that's actually considerably easier with other people. They've kind of got simulated other people that you can have. Uh, or, like, other aliens, but they're not really that helpful. They kind of can be, but mostly they just get in the way. Yeah, you can't... you can't charge. Oh, I didn't destroy his armor either. Okay, oh, and I'm still alive, sort of. But I gotta get out of here. I'm wasting a bunch of time. At least I don't have to worry about losing my loot. Punch the microphone. That's not... That's not great, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Where am I? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like they made this game to be frustrating on purpose. I mean, it definitely does have that, like, weird zany energy that works well, or worked well in Castle Crashers. Ooh, double barrel shotgun, damage received F. Yeah, no kidding. That was my first level and I lost two, uh, my two extra lives. Well, what can I get? We don't have any boosts. Yeah, we found almost nothing. Do I want to try? Sure. Let's try the sod off, see what that does. I'm gonna have some trouble against flying enemies, but... Eh. What else am I gonna do about it? We might want to just, like, head for the hideout and hope for the best. Or something? Yeah, the longer you stay in the level, the harder that level will get. Not like I'm trying to. Double coins. Wow. I picked... Well, he's mad about it. I picked the one level where my... The first enemies we run into... Ow. Maybe... Maybe part of my problem is I'm aiming too much. Maybe I just need to kind of let my character I aim? I don't know. There we go. I should probably just go turn in the news, because otherwise I am going to die. Damage is good. Wait, oh, I'm taking damage from these? Okay, well, at least we get that. I don't know, man. Try, try and even commentate over this is nightmarish. It's just... Tons of chaos all the time. What? Okay, there's... There's a purple enemy. There we go. Oh. Yeah, going short range is a bit of a risk here, considering uh, a lot of enemies are just up high in the sky and I can do nothing about it. Okay, I do like the shotgun's like a f visual effects. Just turning people into skinless, uh, skinless bone men is fleshmen meat men turning agents into just meat men is kind of funny ghoulish yes i didn't kill that original guy i have no idea Ugh. how did i do so well on the original demo for this game 
Oh, shotgun just blasts armor off, though. Oh, blessed be this robot. Never mind. There they all go simultaneously. Sick. If only I wasn't near death. Have I gotten zero item boxes here? I suppose so. I could just leave. I might just have to. Ow. What? But we have the news. I'm just gonna go. Kill that guy. We're right next to the exit, so it should be fine. And sometimes these give hearts. Rarely. Or deliver items to target. There we go. I I appreciate the money. I wish it was hearts. No. I wonder if this game doesn't have much of a dead stick. Or a dead zone? Because yeah, I flicked the stick to specifically get to the other... Wow. Uh, I've licked the stick to get to the other side of Shield Man, and it, uh, I immediately just, like, snap back to look the other direction. Oh, it is really hard to make any kind of point here. I think I'm just gonna need to resort to screaming. Or at least we're leveling up and unlocking more things. It's a lot of cosmetics, but it's also like new weapon types and some other stuff. Okay, well, I have no choice in which direction I'm going to currently. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the shotgun though. It... So there are armored enemies that have to be like hit with a charge shot. Shotgun doesn't care about that, which is actually kind of huge. Uh-oh. I know what this is. Well, I've replaced... Okay, you can't go over it. I've replaced my sawed off with a triple shot gun, which might actually be exactly what I need on this one. Because boy, trying to kill that key bot with a triple shot actually sounds kind of rough. Wait, no, 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 no. Yes. I got it. I just barely got it. Got them all. Get the door. Don't die. Whoop. I was going to be very upset if we... Managed to get to the end, uh, if we had missed that heart, as we kind of desperately needed it. Come on! Well, there goes my heart. I'm glad we got it! I don't know what I could have done there, really. No. Well. It's fine. We gained a heart and we lost it immediately. The scales were balanced. I think I'm just getting more he heads. Let's see what I can do, because some of these actually have good things. So this just has extra range. It's nice. What about heads? Sometimes these have stat bonuses. I think pigments don't, but heads do. 
So I could go there, but I only have like two things. I think I want to go to the right. Even if it's probably a bad idea. Because we need more loot boxes. Mothership memory and smoke hazard. I land and immediately take damage. All of the rude. Well, at least I'm invulnerable for a little while. Oh, you know, here's something I haven't done yet. The usual Wanderbot standard of... Boy, that was loud. Kind of, sort of. That should be better. Why is it that turning it down just like a little bit muted all sound effects forever? <laughs> I think... Are the sound effects on like a log logarithmic curve? I... I don't know how to react to that. I mean, at least this is tolerable. It's still kind of quiet, but it'll work. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go either direction. Yeah, this gun isn't particularly accurate, but it does hit things up high and down low, which is actually one of my issues, and it seems to do plenty, plenty of damage. So I guess we don't have too much to worry about. Oh, come on, don't get stuck in the ground. Yeah, I haven't tried the uh, triple shot on this weapon yet. Or not the triple shot, the charge shot. There we go. It's a little frustrating that there are so many different instances where I can lose access to my character uh, long term and it takes like just enough time to regain control of them. Being stuck on an enemy, getting stunned, uh, getting, well, getting stuck, stuck on enemies, getting knocked around, uh, you know, hitting the wrong enemy when like you want to hit the armor dude because you can't kill him unless you get him with a charge attack but you end up on a random alien and you're like, oh, like I'm trying to take this guy's armor off, uh, but it just did not want to work with me on that one and it took a while. And, you know, in that time I got knocked around, I got stuck on one of my alien buddies and, you know, it's not bad. It's just one of those where it's like weirdly frustrating to have to deal with. And I, it's 100% intentional, I think. Just because it is a behemoth game, like, these games are very overtly frustrating on purpose. I don't know why me rolling... Oh, there's an enemy on top of me. I don't know why me rolling has me just go straight into the grounds now. It hasn't worked that way up until now, and I'm curious why it does now of all times. Well, I don't know. Okay, so we could leave, or we could stick around for, like, a little bit of loot. And it's such a risk, because I have no HP. Yeah, I get knocked around, I fall. I then proceed to bounce off of, like, six different things at once. And it's just like, oh, that's the trial in and of itself. And everything's so tanky. Okay, we got the cleaner bot at the very least. What the heck is this thing? I have... no. Oh, it's... It's doing that. I don't know. We might just have to leave. Especially because I don't know what the flash drives do. Don't kill me on the way out. Yeah, that last objective might also be why I'm dying so much. Like, I want it. But. It is death. Oh, is that a mothership memory? Bring it home for prizes and hollow hugs. That's slightly un a slightly unsettling means of phrasing it. 
Alright. So I should be back. Yeah, I'm back up to full health. <laughs> they land and they're already gunning for me. What? Where did he come from? And I've already lost so much HP. Yeah, I think I think the ideal state to play this game very much is in multiplayer. Just having like one or two people watch your back and kind of compliment your weapon choices. Uh, have somebody that is dedicated heavily to taking out, um, like heavily more heavily armored enemies and whatnot would actually help tremendously. And then also grind. Okay. So I guess the shield guys aren't that tough. They're tough, but they're not like... Can't cope tough. There we go. Get the objective. Yeah. We're going quick here. Because yeah, I think... I think once, the, once you get past like a certain level in this game, uh, it probably also gets a fair bit easier. Just because you're starting with better equipment. And maybe you, you can even start with a boost, or three. I checked a grenade at this man, and he's still shooting at me. So rude. I think the only thing I would love to see is a little bit of a diminishing return on how much, like, knockback you can suffer at any one given, given moment. Or if you could just keep shooting while you're being knocked back. You know, at, at no point does your character stop shooting. Oh, this is so much easier. Last time I fought this thing, I had a sword. It was bad. Hey, free item. Okay. It does seem like hanging out specifically here might actually be a really safe idea. There we go. Because the bombs couldn't hurt me. Couldn't hit, hurt me, couldn't hit me on the stairs. I think I can get this. No. No, we're leaving. I'm half health. There's no way I'm sticking around for that. I don't know what that did, but I'm leaving. God, I'm just so vulnerable. It just doesn't matter. Okay. Just... Keep suffering. Ooh, bonus level. And we've got at least a couple... Oh yeah, we've got six crates, so this might actually give me something to work with here. It does feel like it's a little hard to get the cool power-ups, but it's fine. Defense on kill, jump height, but reduce health. Alien blaster, double bullet. More double bullet. Rolling attack and mothership memory. Okay, do we want to swap swap this out? I don't think range is helping me that much. Yes, yeah, so we have more health regen. Wait, oh, is it a boost? It's a boost. Defense on kill, jump height, but reduce my max health. Oh, wait, no. This one's giving me deflect bullets. We still can't do boost, and I'm pretty sure we can't get any of those. Yeah. Oh, but let's see what they have to sell. Uh, an extra life? Sure. Damage on coin gain. It's okay. Better rolling attack. Eh? I 
That one's actually kind of good. Dig, dig speed. Oh, but it still slows me down. Okay, so I think we want this one. 20% move speed is very worthwhile. Okay, so we got a bonus. This could be a problem, but I am fast. So here's hoping. Okay, the damage is good. Everything else is kind of chaos. Wave one, golden ice cream, where are we going? We're going over here. Oh, that's charming. Okay. Keep defeating enemy waves. I don't know how many of these we technically have to work with. Probably a lot. On the plus side, oh, I don't know what that is. Everything hurts, though. Sort of. Oh, we got more golden ice cream. So is, is that it? Every time... Oh. Every time we... Complete one of these objectives... The lads give me... Boosts. So effectively, defeat the enemy wave. I, I think I'm shooting up the wrong thing. I don't know if that black box can even be damaged. No. It just seems to be in my way. Nothing more. Nothing less. Okay. I didn't mean to hop on that other... Was that another alien? I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's, that's the wild part. I don't know what's going on. I right, didn't get it. It's fine. We got a couple of boxes off of it. And some EXP. Yeah, more heads. Okay, unfortunately that danger level's starting to get up there and I'm not in the best of spots. Oh boy. Another one of these. I... Oh, right. We do have a heart. I think one of the other things that would actually help this game tremendously, in my opinion, would straight up just be auto-aim. Just have it fire at whatever is the nearest. There we go. Because, yeah, currently I seem to only be able to fire in two different directions. And, like, there's some variance on that. Well, that kind of worked out. Thank you, Knockback, for working in my favor for once. Looks like the... Looks like the boss just... There we go. Uh, teleport's closer to you. No buff to be had from the child. No! Oh, there it is. And there goes my heart. Because I was stuck on something. I think I was just bouncing off the environment. not take me. You will not take me. You will not take me. They take. They took me. Well, it's fine. I, I don't know, man. 
I'm just gonna keep chucking my face at this. We'll get good at it at some point. Or I'll just find the, like, super gun that solves all my problems. Because, yeah, it's always that last one, because it shows up, and I don't see the key bot in time, or I can't hit it because it ends up in a weird spot, and then I just end up in, like, a... Uh... Hazard ladders. Oh, it's the laser ladders. Oh, I should have maybe swapped this weapon out. Because it's the worst of many worlds. Because it doesn't have the spread of that triple shot gun. It doesn't have the inherent armor breaking nature. Oh, the fact that the armored guys can even roll through my damage like that is slightly awful. Not all of them, but enough of them. I was wondering about ladders, and the answer is, these are the ladders. Okay, I think I have enough news. The one thing I will say in my in my benefit of the moment is I am vastly faster than the game is used to, and so I can actually just cruise past a number of these things. The fact that they have a shorter cooldown on their dodge than I have on my own dodge is weird. Oh. I must transport the happy fish. There we go. Well, I'm not dead yet, so that's a good sign. But I certainly feel like dying. Oh, another armored dude. There we go. If the... Oh. If my charge shot was like... A big AoE or something. I guess that's what my grenade is. I just can never seem to hit with a grenade. Like every time I fire it off, it just ends up going elsewhere. I didn't even see it go off half the time. Okay, I think we can go for the fourth objective on this one. Oh, survive the Sparkbot attack. Well, who knows? In retrospect, maybe I can't. Yeah, that lack of range. I... I didn't think range would be much of a limitation here. I... No, we're not going for three. I saw that red meat looking stuff and I'm like, oh, sweet, tasty treats. And the answer is no. I just want to go through the ladder. Is that too much to ask? I ask. The answer is yes. Yeah, it seems like not going for that fourth objective seems to be the trick. Uh, I am going to switch my gun back to the triple shot or something. I like the idea of double shot, but ain't worth it. Because, yeah, this has the extra range that goes pretty far, all things considered. Extra defense, ability charge, eh. And then I could be purple. But no, I will continue. Uh, uh, shoot. Yeah, we do. See that heart? We want to go for the heart. On fire, hold B to start digging. Oh, is that why I'm digging so much? I, uh... Yeah, this is assuredly better than my last setup. Oh, he's also armored. Yeah, it seems like the triple shot is the way to go.
that's fine. All right, we're here for the news. his stuff and yeah there's no point in me sticking around i guess i could also just stay underground for this oh nope never mind there's an upper limit to how much underground it can be so that's not a chem launcher that's a flamethrower i suppose Okay, that is, come on. Where is it? There we are. Two seconds, okay, we got it. What, there were five? That's the spider bots. Any spider bots. Okay. They. Oh, good. I have some more more time every time I catch one. The kid one doesn't get more time. I get hit by a missile. Get hit by a spider bot that slows me down, so I get hit by another missile and get set on fire. Ooh. Like, every single element of this is great, but together, uh, it's really frustrating. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go back. I don't know if my, yes, my fight bot is still available. The fact that the bot can't destroy armor is weird. This guy, not dead yet. Oh, because this thing doesn't actually do that much damage. It just looks very impressive. There's... nope. Barely any. Okay. I, I don't want to get on top of him. I just... well, I'm dead. I... There's stuff I could have maybe done there, but not much. It didn't roll enough. I rude. But yeah, I was, I was trying to go over the guy so I could just shoot down at him. And then I end up on his head. Then he punches me away. And then we, I don't know. And you guys were there. I'm sure I could have done some of these better, but we'll see. So here's the question. I have, I have it set so when I die, I don't lose stuff. Does that mean I just am slowly accruing more items? Or is it reset anyway in the whole don't lose stuff on death thing. Oh no, we still have my gun. We've also secured mutation juice bonus, deflect bullets, money chance. You know, I mean, those are kind of good. Let's see. Now, is there anything I can do here? Are we just plugging in all of these? Oh, so these are just temporary boosters that we can use at the beginning. So, deploy deflect power up, deploy heart, deploy critical. Let's see how this goes. So it looks, oh, so it's just added them to the map. Okay. I see how this works. Now I'm gonna stand by my statement of, I think this will be a lot more fun. What does the cryo shot do? Eh, it's kind of neat. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm going to go back to the sawed off, though. And yeah, we get to keep our boosts. 
Nah, don't care about those. Yeah, so the real trick of this game is to not be on permadeath at all. It's not worth it. Uh, as you just lose all of your gear. I think you might be able to keep the, the gear that you've acquired on a run. Uh, but that's it. Let's go here. This one seems like hell. Because, yeah, we want to get more memory, we want to get more hearts, we want to get some other things. And I think I do want to use the shotgun, after all. Uh, the only immediate problem is the chase sequence uh, fights. Those could get kind of dire. It does feel like this does scale slightly based on your character's level. As... Wait, I didn't kill this man. Let's see. As this is definitely a little bit crazier. Okay, let's just use that to get over. I do appreciate using enemies as steeds. I just wish it was easier to get on top of them without getting stunlocked into oblivion. I also kind of wish the useful loot would show up earlier in the run, but it is one of those that uh, I think I was just foolishly on permadeath mode and that was messing with me. Because I was thinking, it's like, well, yeah, permadeath ain't too bad. Uh, I play roguelikes all the time, and the answer is, this is one where the actual roguelike mode is very much not for the faint of heart. It feels like there's a number of purple enemies. They're just up high. For reasons. I guess I should probably leave the area where you can have enemies up high. Force them to come to me. Okay. I think I succeeded handily. My poor bot. No, what are we doing? News. And, like, I might be able to pull off a fourth objective here. At least on this round? Maybe. Right. And I can just go underneath that. How tanky are you? And it only needed six more damage. I don't burn while I'm underground, so that's actually kind of useful to note. I was going to say, just like a little bit of auto aim, just just so you course correct if you're if you're slightly off would actually be just massive in this. And maybe that's even something that is baked in the game. There we go. He was nice and easy. So, like, in this case, this guy is weirdly hard to hit because he's just outside of my range and I can't shoot slightly diagonal. And, like, it works on Mega Man to only be able to fire left and right just because the game is designed that way. This one, there's enemies everywhere, and so it very quickly becomes uh, a severe limitation. With the crit power up? I think it is. Let's not stand right in the midst, however. Grab the money. Oh. Nope. I was hoping since the cleaner bot had exploded. Oh, that's a... evil-looking buddy. any HP for this. But if we have this thing, I think we'll be fine. Especially for right here. Because all I have to do is just survive for like a hot second. And there aren't a whole lot of enemies nearby. Wait, what? Observe the target.
Ow. Uh. Sure. I. I think I'm just leaving. No amount of money is worth just getting toasted here. Shotgun certainly did more damage, but at least I know I can hide underground. Ow! I don't know, I think the beam should prevent you from just getting wrecked. But maybe that's just me. Okay. I guess maybe it's part of the drama. You get hit on the way out. Oh. I was going to take a look at this. Crit chance. Do I actually want it? No, not really. What do we have as far as heads go? Eh, just some extra HP. Yeah, if we had... If we had the uh, deflect bullets on melee, I'd consider it. But even then, it's a bit of a, a dodgy risk. Oh, when riding on someone's shoulders, you can't be hurt. I guess you should just go for that more often. I don't know what mothership memory means. There we go. I don't know. I'm just gonna... Just gonna keep cruising. Yeah, the shotgun has major limitations due to its range, but on the flip side, it is really effective at shredding armor, and that's one of my, my bigger issues, uh, is trying to get armor off of enemies. It just does have some issues aiming. Come back, you... Passed through that man to ride him, and it just didn't matter. What? Wait. No. Huh? Uh. Oh, it's up. Got it. I was not clear in the moment. I'm sure it was telegraphed. But still, rude enemy just- What was that? Holy smokes, those guys are tough. And their woogly shots are, uh, weirdly hard to avoid. Come on. Oh, interesting. Other things to note is that enemy shots are not blocked by stuff like cars. I... I... I can't seem to stop the helicopter. I've died. I... It does not help that I do not have the weapon to deal with this thing. And I apparently... There we go. Lost a whole heart for that. I was trying to, I was trying to like get in front of it and hit it, but those bombs had just enough of a hitbox that they would uh, immediately slap me down for my hubris. Okay. I guess small, small story. Not really a story. Uh. I guess I was, uh, I'd actually been tapped to do a sponsored video for this, uh, but Gmail just randomly decided to delete the email without informing me, which, like, you know, why would it do that? I have no idea. I'm sure somebody probably has a slightly dismissive ex explanation for me. Um, I don't want to ride that man right now, but maybe I did. That hurt. This hurts. All of this hurts.
but I've I've definitely noticed that like Gmail has been notably worse lately. Okay. Oh no. Don't do a full dive. I want to buy whatever this is. I don't care what it is. It seems very powerful. And while I want all of that money, I also would like to keep my health. Oh, okay. You can kind of jump in the air to avoid those, but even then, I don't know. I... Yeah. I don't know what this gun, gun does, and I want to see. Damage received, F. How are you supposed to not get an F on that. Wait, really? It was red and it's just an armor piercing. I was expecting more. We not, yeah, we haven't really gotten any more of those. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna head for that safe house. It does almost feel like it's worth just getting as much loot as you can, getting to a safe house and then resetting uh, to get all the gear. I don't know, bulldozer swarms. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Oh, and I have no choice. Oh, good. But I can kill them from the front. And normally they deflect shots at their face. And then they turn around so there's no like, oh, well I can ride them though. Okay, so there are there are merits to the creatures. This is also hard. Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? But yeah, so I didn't I didn't find out that uh that I actually did get the sponsored deal until like this morning. And so I was just like, oh, well that sucks. Because usually you have to like send things in for approval and feedback and all sorts of other other bits. So like very much did not actually get the deal. Ah, rolled right into the beam and couldn't get out. At least it gave me a heart going into this, but yeesh. But, <laughs> I will admit, considering the doozy of a time I'm having here, there's almost kind of that relief of like, oh, good. I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, dealing with uh, a sponsorship in this one. Game's great. Like, how would I describe it? It needs it needs a little bit more time in the oven. So definitely some playtesting. And I think having uh, the game public is going to do that. Uh, just to smooth out the difficulty curve, maybe a little bit. Either just early on or in general. Um... Oh no, we already have enough mail. Um, but like, whenever I'm doing a sponsorship, there's kind of that in implicit, like, I have to kind of enjoy what I'm doing. Um, and that I have to present it well. And this has just been such like a chaos fest of me being slightly annoyed. Not like even particularly negative. It's just one of those where the game is, is in inherently frustrating. Um, by design. Oh. There we go. It's inherently frustrating by design, and I think that's entirely fine. Uh, but it does suffer a little bit because of that, because, boy, trying to do, like, good commentary over this has just turned into, like, Everything is awful. Why? Why is this happening to me? And it's one of those where it's like, I'm having a good time and I can very much see this being even better. Uh, with like... Wow, I just lost half my health in one go. I don't know. Maybe it's one of those that if you're knocked flat on your ass for any reason... Uh you should be just, like, immune to damage. I would swear I've seen that in other games. Well, seeing as we're here... Oh, I was reloading. That's fun. Okay, 
Okay, got it. Oh. Survive the sweeper bot attack. Are they going to turn around or they're not? There we go. There we go. Get our money. Try not to lose any more than I already have. But do we need the money? We are going to a safe house soon. So the answer is like a kind of yeah. It's just everything does so much after a certain point in this game. Okay, now we're gone. Before I lose any more, I think I lost two hearts on that level. Ouch. I'm just seeing my global rank dropping. Either people have figured something out that I haven't, or they're cheating, or the, I don't know. At least we did get a new shotgun. Damage on coin gain, plus, okay, that's kind of good. Got anything else there? No, we have another pigment. And we have more of these, but I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, let's just head for the safe house. I've got five things to drop off, and <laughs> honestly, I think I might call it there. Uh, it's one of those where the, the safe houses, in my opinion, are the end of a run. Everything after that is just extra. And maybe not even good. Sir, who said you could escape my being my steed for a while? Ow. Open a blast them before they went off. Okay. Well, we're in business. Of a sort. Survive the bombardment. Now, I think I'm actually just safe underground. That's... That's actually a lot easier. What? What even hit me? There's just a Stanko on the ground, I suppose. I think part of it is I haven't been uh, utilizing the ride enemies take no damage aspect of this game. And maybe I should be. Wow, that was some distance. Ouch, rude. Ow. Yeah, there's no iframes in this game. You just... You get hit, you eat every shot. Ugh. Oh, actually, no, here's where I just lose. I have immense trouble hitting this thing. Like, I, I hit it. It just doesn't count. Because its hitbox is actually smaller than it looks. Well, I didn't mean to grab onto that guy. Oh, we got it. We're good. Oh, there's so many of these guys. Oh, but they're dead. Oh, I didn't die. We're leaving. There is not a world where I'm sticking around. Okay, thank you. You cannot hit me. I am gone. I thought I was so dead. But it doesn't matter. Oh boy. So 
Okay. And there's also a bonus room. But I don't think I care. I thought I was supposed to get a heart from that. Maybe not. Maybe that was a previous level. Who knows? Alright, so we've got uh, crit percentage per hit. Rolling attack, move speed, reduced jump height though. That's rough. Let's see, extra range. Defense on kill, revenge damage. And eh, those are okay. That's... Just gonna grab a couple of these. It's a level 5 with bonus robot damage. Dodge bullet regen. And a pigment choice. Extra jump height. I guess we might as well get every pigment. I'm sure there's tons in the game. Let's see, cryo shot with crit chance. I'm just buying whatever. Uh, let's see, well I can't afford anything, but that's fine because now we've got a lot more options to play around with and I can start selling some of the lower tier stuff that I don't want. Uh, let's see, but I think I have to sell it elsewhere. And then we also have that. The problem is it's like only robot damage plus a percentage. Like, I think my one beef with this being a roguelike is that most of the upgrades are extremely uninteresting. Um, you know, it's almost universally just, like, plus a percentage. I'm curious about rolling attack. I could actually see a, a rolling attack build being weirdly good. Oh. I don't think I want to sack my jump height for any reason. Like, a build charge I can work with. But jump height is probably killer, just like how me... Whoa. I didn't press a roll button. I still rolled? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, losing the jump height would be killer, just like using the shotgun or the sword against a lot of the mid-bosses and even certain enemies. It's one of those where I really want to like this game, but it has just, a cuff, uh, just enough rough edges that I'm just like slightly frustrated by them. Namely, just the uh, slight inaccuracy of the alien uh, and the gun. You know, just... You know, make it go up and down uh, like a 10 degree thing just to guarantee it hits if there's somebody just outside of range. Um, or, well, and then also just the, uh, some of the weapons not being capable of uh, hitting enemies, if that makes sense. Or that last boss fight, we barely got through it, mostly on merit of me just sticking to it and gunning it down. But since health is such a, like, crucial resource, I was just burning it there in the hopes that I'd win because otherwise I was hosed. And there was no, like, means of me being tactical or grounding it or, like, shotgunning one of its bombs back, back at it or something like that. And so, like, some kind of tricksy hard counters to make melee and close range a little bit more viable. And then uh, maybe also get rid of some of the stun lock or give the character, like, a little bit of an iframe. So if you're on the ground or if you've just been shot, you don't get hit for, like, half a second even. Because there are a number of moments where I get, like, flung in a direction and then instantly die. And I can see that being fine maybe in multiplayer, but in single player, ooh, it gets rough. There is an easier difficulty level, and maybe I can mess around with that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much that matters. Because the one thing I didn't play around with is actually the uh, rolling shell. Because that does do a lot of damage. But... For now, at least, Alien Hominid Invasion is available on Steam if you guys want to pick it up. I will have a link in the description below. It's solid, and it's probably way more friends with... Uh, way more fun with friends. It's way more friends. Uh, it's way more fun with friends. So, possibly bring a crew with you. And you'll have an easier time of it, because I bet you can also revive each other. Rather than having a limited hearts deal. Which probably makes the game much, much more easy. Easy? Much more tolerable. But, with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.